The first thing we're going to need to do is pop a Dutch oven onto the hob. Turn the heat up high, add a little splash of olive oil and chuck in a nice generous knob of butter. And the first ingredient, we need some lovely leg of lamb. Chuck your leg of lamb into the pan, season your lamb with a pinch of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And we want to get a nice bit of colour on the lamb. While your lamb is caramelising, we want to take some carrots and you want to dice up your carrot nice and chunky. We want it to be about the same size as the lamb, so about one inch sized cubes. Pop your carrot into a bowl, and next we need some onion. Simply chop your onion in half, remove the skins, and then dice your onion up quite chunky. Again, roughly the same size as your carrot and lamb. Once you've diced up your onion, chuck that into the same bowl as your carrot, and at this point, the lamb should be getting lovely and caramelized. So remove your lamb from the Dutch oven, go in with another little knob of butter and then chuck in your carrot and your onion. Season with salt and pepper and the first trick with a great hot pot is to make sure that you really roast off your carrots and onions well before we go back in with the lamb and the stock to remove as much water as we can and really intensify those flavours. And when the carrot is nice and soft and the onion is getting nice and golden brown, chuck back in your lamb and next we need some plain flour. Chuck in a tablespoon spoon or two of your plain flour. Give that another good stir. And the next ingredient is some Worcestershire sauce. Shake up your Worcestershire sauce and add a nice splash. Stir it through and next we need some bay leaves. So chuck in a couple of bay leaves and then we need some chicken, vegetable or lamb stock. Use whichever you want. Pour over your stock until it covers the vegetables and the lamb. Give that a good stir through and then pop your lid onto the Dutch oven. And we just want to cook this on the hob for about 25 35 minutes to get things going. While your hot pot is ticking away on the stove, you want to take some potatoes, spend some time to peel the potatoes, quickly turn on your oven and preheat it to 180 degrees, and then you want to thinly slice your potatoes. And after about 25, 35 minutes or so, take the lid off of your hot pot, turn the heat down so it's not bubbling away, and then lay on all of your sliced potato. Make sure you overlap some of the potato pieces. And the next trick is to make sure that you brush the potato slices with some lovely melted butter. Pop the lid on your Dutch oven and stick that in the oven. And we want it to bake with the lid on for about 45 minutes at about 170, 180 degrees. After 40, 45 minutes, check on your hot pot, remove the lid. And then the last little trick, we want to bake the hot pot in the oven without the lid on for about 25 minutes. And for the last 20 minutes, we want to get that potato really nice and brown. After 20 minutes or so, check on your hot pot. If it's looking good and you're happy, take the hot pot out of the oven and then spoon it onto a plate. And there you have a great British classic, a beautiful Lancashire hot pot. So all that's left to do is get stuck in.